my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven, stable land, a higher place than I have found. Lord, grant my feet on higher ground. My heart has no desire to stay where doubts arise and fear dismay. Those are may dwell where those above. My prayer, my aid is higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on hand, best stable land, a higher place that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I want to live above the world, though Satan's star. At me, aha, for faith has called the joyful sound, the song of saints on higher ground. Don't leave me up and let me stand by faith on hand, best able land, a higher place than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I want to scale the utmost height and catch a gleam of glory bright. But still I pray till heaven and I'll plant my feet on higher ground. Don't leave me up and let me stand by faith on hand, best able land, a higher place than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. We want to welcome all of you, our Christians who are watching us at homes and various places in the world. As we come to the house of the Lord this morning to worship and praise him and to have a fellowship with him, we welcome you. The Kenya morning prayer order of the service. We have come together, the people of God drawn by his spirit, longing for his word to praise his holy name of the Lord, to share his glorious news of grace, to pray for our needs and the pain of the world to rejoice in his love and be sent in his peace. We are heirs of the Father, joined heirs with the Son, renewed in spirit, together we are one. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins in repentance and trust, God is faithful and just and will forgive us our sin. So let us confess them unto our Father. Eternal Father, God, God of our ancestors, ancestors before, before your, your power, power all things tremble, tremble. But and through your Son we approach your throne. We, we have, have done wrong and neglect to do right. Our sins weigh heavily on our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Count them not against us. Grant us the joy of forgiveness and lighten our hearts with the glory of Christ, who died and rose again for us. Amen. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ rejoices at repentance and declares his acceptance. The dead are alive, the lost are found. His goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life and you live in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Blessed are those who live in your house. May the Lord is be singing your praises. Praise the Lord. In the name of the Lord, we praise. Glory to the Father in whom all things be done. Glory to the Son who became the Son of Man. Glory to the Spirit who inspires and leads. The Lord our God forever. Hallelujah. How we let time is given. Giving in my heart, I will enter his court with praise. I will say with a day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. 
But to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to observe the Lord's commands and decrees that I am giving you today for your own good. To the Lord your God belong the heavens, even the highest heavens, the earth and everything in it. Yet the Lord set his affection on your forefathers, and loved them, and he chose you, their descendants, above all the nations as it is today. Circumcise your hearts, therefore, and do not be stiff-necked any longer. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality and accepts no bribes. He defends the cause of the fatherless, and the widow, and loves the alien, giving him food and clothing. And you are to love those who are aliens, for you yourselves were aliens in Egypt. Fear the Lord your God and serve him. Hold fast to him and take your oaths in his name. He is your praise, he is your God, who performed for you those great and awesome wonders you saw with your own eyes. Your forefathers who went down into Egypt, we are 70 in all. And now the Lord your God has made you as numerous as the stars in the sky. Chapter 11. Love the Lord your God and keep his requirements, his decrees, his laws, and his commands always. Brothers and sisters, this is the word of the Lord. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fountain of glory divine. Year of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect ambition, perfect delight, visions of rapture, a past at my side. Angels descending, ring from above, echoes of mercy, whispers of love. 
This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. All is a dream. I eat my Savior I'm happy and glad Watching and waiting Looking about Filled with this goodness Lost in this life This is my story Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. We stand together with Christian throughout the centuries and throughout the world to affirm our faith in the words of Apostle Creed. Together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On that day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He'll come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. He given up to you, seek and you shall find. I knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ask and it shall be given up to you. Seek and you shall find. Ah, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth that's in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not lead us into temptation from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide our president, may your minister serve you faithfully. In the valley of the shadow of death, protect us with the rod and staff. Like tree planted by the waterside, grant us the fruit of his faith. Send us out as the salt of the earth, and as the light of the world. May the earth be filled with your glory, and as the water covers the sea. The prayer of the day. The prayer of the day, the first Sunday of the Trinity. O oh God, our Father, whose Son, our Savior, was healed and restored many of perfect health. We pray that you would extend your mercies today to all the sick in our midst, touching them with your divine hand and healing them from all that fix and weighs them down. Through Jesus Christ, the great physician. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The prayer for peace together, the first alternative. Almighty and ever-living God, Father of the Prince of Peace, in return and rest we are saved. 
In quietness and trust is our strength. Grant us the blessing of making peace and the joy of seeking justice. Take from our soul all strain and stress, and let our ordered life confess the beauty of your peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for grace together. Almighty God, you have been our God through the night. Keep us in your care through the day, walking in the light, bearing witness to your ways, seeking first your kingdom and seeing you in everyone. Guide us in the footsteps of your Son and lead us on the path of your everlasting day. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us have a song. Hakuna Mungu Kama Wewe Hakuna living God, we are gathered in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, whom you promise that whenever we ask anything in his name, you shall grant us. And Heavenly Father, this morning we come before thee with thanksgiving in our hearts. For you, O oh God, have been our shelter, you've been our refuge. And Lord God Almighty, you've been Jehovah Jireh, providing to every good gift that is we have required. Lord God Almighty, you've been Jehovah Rapha. Whenever we get sick, you've been healing us. And Lord, this day we want to come before thee. And I lift the cup of salvation and praise your holy name. For indeed, Lord, you've been good unto us. You've been so faithful in our lives and that of our families. You've been so faithful in our nation, oh God. You've been faithful even in your church. Lord God Almighty, we want to thank you for our families. Lord God Almighty, we thank you that even at this time that our children are at home and they are not going to school, that you, O oh Lord, has continued to uphold them. And Lord, you continue to give them hope that, Lord, one of these days they are going to go back to school and that, Lord, they are going to continue with their studies. We want to remember in a special way the candidates, oh God, those in class eight, those in form four, and even those in colleges in their final year. Lord God Almighty, may you grant them peace, oh God, because everything worketh for good for them that trust you. May they continue to look up unto you. And you, O oh Lord God Almighty, we pray that you may continue to hide them. Heavenly Father, we also want to thank you for all the other children those that are in primary school, in secondary school, and even in the colleges and universities. The Lord, at this time, the Lord, you are going to separate them from corrupt company, oh God. And the Lord, you are going to hide them. The Lord, none of them is going to be involved in acts that are not pleasing to you. We want to thank you for our nation, the far that you have brought us. The, despite the economic challenges that we are going through because of the corona pandemic, Lord God Almighty, you continue to amaze us. The Lord, you continue to guide the government of the day in each and everything that they are doing. Heavenly Father, we know that many have been infected, but because of your word and because of your care, 
It is not as those that I had predicted, O oh, Heavenly Father. And we want to thank you so, so much this morning. We thank you for the many that have been infected and they are healed, O oh God. Heavenly Father, continue to show yourself mighty in this nation of Kenya. For you are our God. You are the God Almighty and there is no other who is worshipped in this country. Heavenly Father, remember them that have believed. Lord God Almighty, grant them your peace. The peace that surpasses human understanding is what we are praying for them this day. We remember the sick, O oh God. And more so them that are of this congregation, Jehovah. There are many that are suffering because of cancer. There are others, Lord God, God, God of heaven, who have various diseases. Come through for these families, O oh God. Remember them, Jehovah, and may your hand of mercy touch them, so that, Lord, they may be restored. We thank you that in each and every situation, you continue to show yourself strong, and you continue to show yourself as God. Remember the Church of Jesus Christ at a time like this. Many are watching at homes and they desire, O oh Lord, to come to the house so that we may worship you together. And we are praying, O oh Heavenly Father, because you are going to finish this coronavirus and it's not going to be remembered anymore. We are going to come to your house and we are going to praise you. Remember your people this morning even as they listen to your word. Because they are, their hearts are thirsting for you. They are thirsting for your word. And Lord, we are praying that, Lord, your spirit of revival may break forth, O oh God, even as people watch from home, Heavenly Father. May they praise you in spirit and in the truth. May they, Lord God Almighty, humble themselves before thee. And Lord God Almighty, may they also confess their sins. And Lord God Almighty, so that you may forgive us, and so that, Lord, you may heal our land. Remember, Master, this day. We remember the readers of the church. We want to commit our archbishop. We want to remember all the bishops and more so our bishop, Lloyd Reverend Charles, that Heavenly Father, even as he continues to read this, our diocese, Heavenly Father, may you work with him together with his family. Remember the courage of this diocese, O oh God, and meet them at their points of need. We commit them that are, are sick before thee, Jehovah, that you may heal them. We want to remember our provost, O oh Heavenly Father, that you may also continue to work with him even as the readers at the cathedral. And even the clergy that are serving uh, with him, the pastoral team, and Lord God Almighty, even the PCC member. In a special way, we want to remember this morning the technical team that continue to help us so that we may reach your people. And even the team that help us to praise you, oh God. May you, Heavenly Father, meet them at their points of need. Heavenly Father, bless them. And Lord, may you enlarge their territories. We thank you and we worship you. There are many things that, Lord, we can thank you for this morning. Thank you for the rains. Thank you, Heavenly Father, even for the abundance of your blessings. We worship you, we magnify you. For this is our prayer of faith in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. We join together in the prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, by your grace we have come together at this time to bring our united prayers to you. And you are promised by your Son, Jesus Christ, that when two or three are gathered in his name, he will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, Lord, our desires and petitions, and may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and the world to come, life everlasting, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We want to thank God for the fact that he has brought us. We have come to the end of the first session. And now we are ready to listen to the word of the Lord brought to us by Reverend Michael. Welcome, Reverend Michael, for the word. And before we go to the word, we want to pray for them that want to give their tithe and offer to them. We welcome. Glorious Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you for our Christians wherever they are. Dear Heavenly Master, you have commanded us to spread your gospel in and out of season. Bless them, dear Heavenly Master, this time. Extend your hand of mercy. Give them protection wherever they are. Bless them, Lord, as they go on their daily activities. As they prepare to give their offering. As they prepare to give their thanksgiving. As they prepare to give their tithe. Bless them, Lord, and enlarge their territories. We pray this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
so sweet to trust in Jesus Just to take him at his word Just to rest upon his promise Just to know that says the Lord Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him How I prove him more and more Jesus, Jesus Precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust in more. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus, just to trust His cleansing blood, just in simple faith to plant me near the healing cleansing blood. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him. How I proved it all and all. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust in more. Yes, it is sweet to trust in Jesus, just from seeing myself to see, just from Jesus simply taking. Life and rest and joy and peace Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him How I prove Him more and more Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus Oh, for grace to trust Him more Yes, Lord, it is so sweet to trust in you because you are our God and we are your children. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, because all the time you remain to be God. In seasons and out of seasons, you are God. In times, Lord, when we are distressed, you remain to be God. And even at this time, Jehovah God, we acknowledge of your greatness, we acknowledge of your goodness and faithfulness upon our lives. Thank you, Lord, for giving us an opportunity to hear from you this morning. May you speak to our hearts, O oh God. May your word have a place to dwell and to manifest in our hearts. Help us by your mercies and grace to live in accordance to your will. For this we pray in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I take this opportunity to greet all of you, those who are listening us, our viewers, wherever you are, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I take this opportunity also to thank our provost, Canon Jeffrey, for according me this opportunity to share the word of God with us. I'm well this morning, I am born again, and I thank God for his faithfulness and for his goodness upon my life. The reading was read to us very well from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verses 12, 22, chapter 11, verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy is the fifth book of the Old Testament, written in the form of a farewell addressed by Moses to the people of Israel before they entered the promised land of Canaan. It was written at the end of the 40 years of wandering endured by the nation of Israel. At this time, they were on the verge of entering the land that had been promised centuries earlier to their forefathers. The children who had left Egypt were now adults, ready to conquer and settle the promised land. Moses reminded the Israelites of God's great mercy upon them. He was a man who was accepted by God to be their advocate and intercessor and he was appointed to be their leader. 
Moses was a type of Christ who forever lives, pleading for us and has all power in heaven and in earth. In the particular scripture that was read to us, Moses reminded the people of Israel about their duty as the people of God, the people that God had chosen and set apart for his purpose. The only duty they had is to love God, their Lord. In the first five books of the law, of the Old Testament, there are many laws that were given by God to the people of Israel. Among us, them, there were some who were, which were, the laws were very positive of the things that were, they were supposed to do, to do. And the others were of the things that they are supposed to avoid. And all those laws were given to them so that they may walk in accordance to the will of God. In the New Testament, one man came to Jesus and asked him, Amongst all the laws that were given, which one is great? And Jesus answered the man that amongst all the laws that were given by God, one of the laws that is great is to love God, your God, with all your heart and with all your soul. And that was the first and the greatest commandment. Do you know what, my brothers and my sister? God wants us to love him. God wants our love for him. Giving God our love is the only way God can give us his blessings. And the blessings of God that we all need in this life and the life to come. God had delivered the people of Israel out of a life of slavery by doing numerous miracles. Even though God had a perfect plan for them, but in most cases, they failed to love their God as he commanded. And through Moses, God reminded them their duty. And God is reminding us our duty as the people of God. And our main duty is to love God all the time. And this leads us to our theme, loving God in all times. In all times, I mean in good or in bad times, love the Lord. And how can we be able to demonstrate the love of God in all times? We can demonstrate the love of God in all times by doing the following, as it is indicated in the scriptures that were read to us, the requirements that God wants from us. Number one, you can demonstrate or we can demonstrate the love to God through the fear of the Lord. Fearing God. Fearing God means to have the respect of him. It means that you act out of reverence for him or to stand in awe of him. To fear God is to know that we don't give account to anyone but God for all our actions. And when we do that, we'll be able to act in accordance to the will of God. My brothers and my sisters, to fear, to dishonor him with our actions will make us not follow what God commands from us. 
The book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 13, the Bible says that the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. A person who fears the Lord hates evil. Not only to mention by the words of mouth that I love God, but let your actions demonstrate that you love God. And how can you demonstrate that you love God? Hate all kind of evil. Pride and arrogance and the evil way and the perverse mouth the Lord hates. A lack of godly fear leads to us doing our own will. And this disregard for God makes us foolish and does not lead to any kind of spiritual growth. If we truly fear God, this brings us to a deep personal relationship with God. When we fear God by hating all evils and seeking righteousness, our relationship with God is strengthened. My brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, remember this this morning, that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And wisdom is to depart from all evil. Now that you are saved and you profess and confess that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, now that God has delivered you from the grip of sin through the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit directs and empowers you to avoid sin or any kind of evil in your life. In the end times that we are in today, we as the people of God, we are supposed to fear God. And this demonstrates the love that we have to God. Number two, walking in his ways. We can demonstrate the love of God through walking in his ways. And what does that mean, walking in the ways of God? It means Walking in the ways of God means to obey the commands of God. As a parent who demands obedience from your child, from your children, and that's what God demands from us because we are the people, we are the children of God. He demands from us obedience, that we obey God in every situation. In chapter 11 of Deuteronomy, verse 22, assures the victory that comes when walking in the ways of God. Obedient is the key to success, to success. And disobedience to God is the key not to succeed in every aspect of our lives. God wants obedience from us. God wants us to adhere to his commands. God wants us to follow his ways. Not by the word of mouth, but let your action commensurate. Let your actions match with the will of God through obeying God all the time. And number three, we can demonstrate the love of God through serving God with all our hearts and with all our soul. Through service to God, to love God in this manner means that you should surrender all your life to God. Service to God means a total surrender of yourself to God. Your wealth and self to the service of God. Many people spend huge sums of money in the name of serving God, but they will not offer themselves for his service. This is a challenge to us as Christians today. 
How many, pe how many people give themselves to the service of God? Joshua says, in this type of situation to the Israelites, he asked them to decide whether to follow the gods of Egypt or the Almighty God. He informed them that he and his house would follow the Almighty God because it was not proper for them to abandon the God who had saved them from the land of Egypt. He declared that I will serve the Lord, me and my family. May it be the choice that you'll make today and forevermore to serve the Lord. Because those who serve the Lord, when you serve the Lord, it is like a two-way traffic. God will also serve you. And that's what Moses was commanded by God to tell the children of Israel, serve me. Don't serve other gods. Serve me because I have brought you out of Egypt. And all of us, God has brought us from somewhere. Many were weak when God was calling us. Many were foolish when God was calling us. Many could not be admired by people when God was calling you. But the same God is telling you, serve me and serve me with all your heart, with all your soul. If you have a complete love of God, all your votes, all your desires and actions would be continued by the word of God. And that is what you will hear always. And this type, you would not like to serve man, but you will decide forever to serve the Lord your God. And as I conclude, loving God is taking a concrete actions with our total being to do things that God has told us to do and to refrain from things that God has told us to stop. At our basic level, to love God is to trust that God has our best intentions. Jesus stated it very clearly as possible when he said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And after demonstrating the love of God, through the fear of God, walking in his ways, and serving him with all your heart and soul, God will command his blessings in our lives. And the blessings of God comes with restoration. The blessings of God comes with peace. The blessings of God comes with a lot of joy. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 30, verse 17, that I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. And this is the promise to claim to those who love God all the time, to those who have surrendered their heart, their mind in the service of God, to those who walk in the ways of the Lord. This is our promise that God will bring restoration in our lives. It doesn't matter what you have lost in this season. Even though we are not infected, we are affected, all of us. And we have lost many things. Psychologically, physically, spiritually, many things have been separated from us. But God has a good plan for us. A plan for restoration. What we need to do is just to surrender our hearts, to surrender ourselves to the service of God. Those who have lost job in this season, those who have lost good health in this season, the relationships that have been broken in this season, and many things that you have lost, you may have lost in this season, to the people of God who have chosen to love God, there is a promise of restoration. Somebody said that delay is not denied. That means that one day, God of restoration will be your portion, the portion in your life, the portion in your family, and in everything that you do. 
In all times, may we choose to love God. In this time of pandemic that has affected not only Kenya but everywhere in the world, may we choose to love the Lord. Because when we love the Lord, there is a blessing that will come on our way. God wants us to love him all the time. Loving God through fearing him, walking in his ways, and serving him in seasons and out of season. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my only hope. Seeking you, Lord. Seeking you as a precious to a Lord. Lord, to give up all be a fool. You are my only hope. God this morning we declare with our lips you've been good to us Lord because of your constant love despite the heat of the COVID-19 you've been gracious to us our Father we want to thank you God because your promises are true that you're a God who restores and this morning almighty God we want to pray for your people, God, who have really lost because of the coronavirus, their jobs, their incomes, oh God. Some families are ailing this morning, but your God who restores whom we look unto this morning, that God in your mercy, in your grace, you may heal those who are wounded. And even those who have been infected with the COVID-19 virus. Jehovah God, we look unto you. That you may heal even those who are sick of cancer and other diseases. Because you're a God who healeth. We acknowledge your kingship almighty God in the lives of your people. As you restore, as your word has promised. We thank you God. Because you reign it. And even this time, Lord, we acknowledge your kingship. And now the peace of God which surpasses all human understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you as God restores you now and forevermore. We want to thank you all for watching and following us via Facebook and other areas of technology. May the Lord bless you as God restores you as you purpose to love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and mind. Have a blessed week ahead as we walk together in the Lord. Thank you. Taking my sin, my cross, my shame, rising up, I bless your name. You are my only heart. When I fall down, when I fall down.